Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. With this video, we are going to talk about that how exactly we can install and set up the JavaScript environment in the system. And then you can easily start your JavaScript learning, design the framework with JavaScript or anything. But these are the most important thing that when you write the first code in JavaScript, what exactly I need in my system, either it is Windows or Mac. So first we need to do what that node.js we need to download here. So what we do, simple go to node.js. You can just simple search for a uh, download node.js, go to this first link over here, and then you can download a Windows machine also for Mac machine also, you can do it. For Mac machine, it will give you .pkg file or one tar file also as a binary also, you can download it. If you are having the Linux machine, you can download uh, the respective 64-bit or ARM machine. If you are having the Windows installer, you can just simply use the .msi file also. You can do it on the Windows. So the installation and everything will remain same. I'm using the Mac OS installer. So 64-bit, uh, you can use it here. So I'm just going to click on this. And uh, here you can see that Node version is actually available in my system. Although I'm already having it, but let's say I'm going to uh, click on this particular package. Same thing in the Windows, you have to click on .msi. This is an installer uh, screen, you will be getting it and then just click on uh, continue and then just accept the license agreement and everything, read the complete agreement and then click on continue, agree the agreement here and then just need to click on install. This is around uh, 248 MB. After that, it is asking your password for your system. You just need to enter the system password here and then install the software. Once it is says that installer would like to access your file, Yes, I really want to give the permission for that. And then whatever. So the stable, the most stable version right now for this current video that I'm preparing is around version 18.18, .18, something like this. And after that, the package has been installed and that's it. And then close it. And if you really want to move this PKG file to the bin, you can move it here. After that, what you just need to do, you just need to uh, open your uh, command prompt or terminal. So let's say I'm opening my terminal. You can open your command prompt and you just need to check the node is really available in my system or not, right? So let me just increase the font size and then see I'm right space hyphen hyphen version. So here you can see that version 18.18 .18 it's giving to me, which is the exactly same version that we have downloaded. Along with node, it will give you uh, the NPM packaging also. You can check the NPM hyphen hyphen version also. So you don't need to install NPM separately. So it's already coming with the node. That's it. So these are the two things that you need to uh, set up. No need to uh, set up any environment variables and or anything. That's it. After that, the second thing is you have to download the Visual Studio code. You can download other editors also, but Visual Studio code is one of the best, super easy to use, very fast, very lightweight to uh, especially design for the JavaScript um, uh, code. So what exactly I'm going to do you can just simply download uh, Visual Studio Code as well for the Mac or Windows. It's again open source. You can just do it for the Mac machine, Linux machine or for the Windows. I'm not going to download. It's already there in my system. This is for Windows. This is for uh, Linux and this is for the Mac machine. And uh, once installation is done, you just need to open the Visual Studio Code. You can search for the Visual Studio Code like this or in the Windows also, you can just open from the search bar. Simple write VSC is a shortcut or you can completely type Visual Studio Code also. And then after that, this Visual Studio Code will be opened here like that. This is a welcome screen and everything here. Now, what is the first thing we have to do? We have to uh, simple couple of things. We have to do it here. The first thing is that install the JavaScript editor plugin in the Visual Studio Code. So what we will do that we will go to the see this is a settings icon is here and click on this extension or one extension of plugin you can say that we have to install here so simple write javascript the moment you write javascript the first plugin here you will see that code snippets for the javascript in es6 environment or with syntax so this is a code snippet that we have to uh, install so simple click on install it here and then after installing it that within a second it will be installed there are a number of features like Extension code contains snippet for JavaScript and ES6 syntax or Visual Studio code and everything. And uh, yeah, so you can just write the uh, supported language like .js, TypeScript, also React. Tomorrow, if you want to work with that or Vue or HTML, that is also available here. But most of the time, we will be focusing on the JavaScript and the TypeScript here. 
after that what we need to do here is that uh, we need to create a project so you can see that one project is already there in my system what we just need to do here is that we can create a blank folder a, do a documents down directory and in this documents directory i'm going to create a folder here you can give any folder name for example let's see my folder name is javascript demo folder right and in this particular javascript demo folder i don't have anything now so you can just see that I don't have anything. It's just a blank directory that I have created. What we just need to do, we just need to open this directory here. So what we will do, we will go to the file menu and open the folder from here. And uh, I'll go to my documents, JS demo, and then click on open. And here you can see that JS demo folder is available here. And now this is a welcome screen and everything. So just let it be like this. Just close this welcome uh, screen and then here, you can just create the folders and the file from here. So this is a complete project that we have added here. After that, for example, let's say I'm going to create another a folder. You can create that. You can start writing the a file also directly in this particular a folder. So for example, let's see here after this, what we have to do. The next thing is that we have to create a first file. Let's see first dot JS, and then we will print the hello world there. Okay. So let's quickly do this. This is my Visual Studio code. I'm going to create a file. The file name is first.js. So .js is the extension, just like we have .java or .py for the Python and the Java respectively. Like this same thing, .js also, we have to write it here. And here you just need to write your first code in, let's say I really want to print something. A simple write console.log to print something on the console. Let's say I'm writing hello world here. That's it. And then if I really want to run it, how will you run it? So in order to run it, what you can do, you can run it from the terminal. How will you open the terminal? You can see the uh, no problem and this crossbar here, zero and zero. Simple, this is a down bar. You can just click on it. Click on this, these three dots and open the terminal here. And uh, let me just clear the console. Uh, here we are, we can check the PWD command. It's JS demo. You can see the current directory. What we just need to do, simple write node and whatever the file name, first.js. That's it. When you run it, you can see hello world is getting printed on the console and that's it. After that, you can just start creating the number of files and the JavaScript practice that in the upcoming chapters that I've already explained completely, there are more than around 30 videos that I've already prepared. So please go through it. If you are struggling with the JavaScript, it will help you a lot. This entire series will help you a lot to understand JavaScript concepts, JavaScript features, some really complex use cases with the Let's see, callback, callback, help, promises, arrow functions, objects, uh, some important uh, JavaScript uh, features and the functions that I have covered in this particular series. So go through it and then enjoy your JavaScript learning. Thank you so much.